video it. <laughs> but that was pretty funny. Really struggled to get in there. Hi guys and girls. You're watching Steve's Transit Camper. Thanks for clicking on my channel. I'm off on a stealth camp with MMA fighter, Paul. <laughs> Paul's broke his leg, haven't you, mate? Yeah, I have, mate, yeah. Sporting, <laughs> one, of my, one of my many sporting injuries. Yeah. Sporting injury, it's quite high profile. What what it was, it, was it, did it happen in an army, in in the war or something? That's or? it, mate, yeah. Yeah? So, yeah, it wasn't You're... playing football with kids. No. It fell over. <laughs> It wasn't that at all. No. I, I heard the rumour that you went to kick the ball and you missed the ball and landed on your back and broke your yeah. leg on the way round. Well, to be fair, <laughs> that rumour's wrong because I did actually score when I went down. Did you? So, yeah, and we got a draw. How old was so, the goalkeeper? Uh, to be fair, it's the assistant manager, so he's 25, I think he is. Oh, that's so, quite yeah, impressive. Just, just got my foot to it. It did take a deflection, but I'm still taking claiming the goal. Superb. And so, then and then claiming against the club for your injury well no that's not really <laughs> it's my own stupid fault so. <laughs> right we are going to go stealth camping actual stealth camping uh we've got a place we've sort of been eyeballing through google it's uh along a river but uh, i don't think you'll see much of the river but we'll go and visit it while we're there so let's get to the destination Right, we've ditched the wheelchair because it's too awkward. And we are at our location. We've got to go and find a nice little site to stealth camp. Absolutely hilarious. Action shot. <laughs> That's it. Don't fall over. No. That's where we've come from. And that's where we're heading. Sorry it's so dark, it'll get lighter when we find a site. So we found a place but it does involve <laughs> Paul having to maneuver a little bit. Come on, you're an ex MMA, MMA fighter. <laughs> Your wife's gonna kill me when she watches this. Oh, yeah, we have to cut this bit out. <laughs> I've already been in trouble a few times. Have you? Yeah. That is amazing, mate. I've left the gear up there by the bridge. You can't see, it's too dark. Right. I'll guide you down there, because I'm the safety officer on this. Katie's put me in charge to look after him. So he's just going to go down this really steep bank. Oh my God, go steady. It's a bit soft, right? Is it? <laughs> he said this has got stealth camping written all over it right you wait there in a the pitch black I'll get the gear yeah. so we've climbed down into this oh, that's quite interesting in there I don't think well that's literally the river there so that's no good Superb. So there are little cavities and people have walked over here by the look of it. But I think well, this is water, is it? Oh no. Ah, 
That's a bit mad. So that is literally just under the, uh, under the bridge. It is nice and flat. But I don't think we're gonna get Paul over here. So we'll probably stick to the forest. Let's head up back to Paul. It is good under there, but yeah. you you won't get to there, mate. I reckon. Well, I reckon so. If I can get to here, I'll get to there. You reckon you can get to there? Yeah. I think it would be good. Yeah. I'll have a go. All right then. So. You are mad though. See, normally I think this would be funny if you'd fall over. Yeah. But I don't want you to fall over. Yeah. Should I be helping you rather than filming you? That's the question. We've got a bit of modern art for us. Oh. This is good. Yeah. This is a bit mad, really. Look at that artwork. That's fantastic. Good. No, I'm not doing it. It's a proper camp. How is it? Yeah. When's the fishing season? Still. Is it down there? Amazing place, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Ooh. Well, there's no one in it. No. I bet it's abandoned. That's a bit spooky. That's not ours. As you know, guys, it doesn't take much to get me spooked, but I'm spooked. How annoying. Fantastic. We're exploring. I reckon, Josh, you'd have your hammock set up there, wouldn't you, between them two pillars? This is the river. Obviously, it's too dark to see anything properly. Adventure. We never thought we'd see this tonight. That is fabulous. So that chair, let me show you. It's over there in that far corner. Too dark to see, but it's with a camping chair set up. Is that person coming back? It doesn't look dilapidated, it doesn't look abandoned. Hmm. Let's get back over to Paul. Here's the main man. What do you reckon we do then, Steve? 
I don't know. Hey. Where we stay? Well, where are we gonna get? We, where are we gonna hang hammocks? Well, that is the problem. Yeah. Are we not sleep on these. <laughs> <laughs> you got a broken leg and you want to sleep on the well, mattress, okay. yeah? Just well, one good roll. Dunk. It elevate your legs, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, so, <laughs> it would if you had your head down that yeah. end. Look at that artwork. I reckon that should be a thumbnail. Go and stand by that oh. artwork. Yeah. We could do that as a thumbnail. <laughs> Paul's having a break because the pain's <laughs> starting to come now, isn't it, mate? I know it's more on the good leg because I'm. I'm oh, yeah, because you're want... using the good leg. Yeah, this is fine, the broken one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And the orthopaedic consultant, he said it was okay to go stealth camping. Oh yeah, I checked with him. And hill climbing through forests, yeah? That, that's it, yeah, he said that's <laughs> fine. It gets the blood circulating. It, uh, it, it aids the healing process, he said. Is that what he said? That's it, mate, so. And is he a stealth camper himself? He's got to be. <laughs> I think so. He looked like one. I'll tell you what, while we guided you back from under that bridge, you would not see things like that if you weren't stealth camping, would you? That was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, I know. It's unreal, isn't it? Superb. Here I am, star of the show, with my hat on, looking good. So we have settled on a site, and we're just going to start thinking about where we're going to hang these hammocks. I think we've got a place, and Paul's undecided whether he's going on the floor or in a hammock yet. What are you thinking? Well, should we get yours up? I'll try yours. Okay, we'll that's a good what, idea. Yeah, and then save... And if it's comfy, you'll be all right yeah, in that. Yeah, that's it. Okie dokie, let's get sorted. I'm going to crack open the cans back again. Go for it, mate. So Paul's got a child. <laughs> <laughs> the reviews are awful. <laughs> I did try it. How, how much money did you pay for that, Paul? 16 quid. 16 quid? And what's it do? It's basically like a leg rest. Oh, okay. So it was either this or bring about five pillows. <laughs> <laughs> and it comes right. with a pump, but the reviews are terrible. Is it, yeah. is, is it any noisier than your voice, this uh, pump? <laughs> I don't know. I we, hope not. We are literally, the fence is there. And Paul's shouting and blarting with no fear. And I'm like, shut up, serial killers. <laughs> we'll see what this is like when he's pumped it up. What are you doing, Paul? Uh, <laughs> the reviews from the pump and this thing are awful. <laughs> and I, I see why. They say that the pump's awful. That's not and, bad. And Yeah, I know, but... And they say that this will deflate halfway through the night. Oh. Uh, I'm going to set my hammock up. How's that, mate? It looks pretty good. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Game changer, isn't it? Did the consultant say it was okay to drink? Um, I prescribed myself some liquid painkillers. Oh, nice one, mate. So, yeah. Cool. Well, that looks all right. Right. I've got to do some work here. And he said it's all right to drink, did he? There was control. You know, the day after, I... The day after, I... Bloody, I saw you in the pub. Yeah. I had two pints of Guinness and two Crocodile more, I'll tell you what. And this is the day oh. after I did it. Oh, there's me. Is he? Yeah. Well, I think I've persuaded Paul to get in a hammock. That's him set up. And then he's on my favourite here. Are you cooking here? Yeah, we'll probably cook here, yeah? Okay. Okay. <laughs> what Christmas tree? I've got this thing now.
all the Stealth Counter Alliance use Stealth Pepsi, but only like Coke. And oh, right. And it's roller cola as well. Oh, yeah. 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 That's a proper Coke. I think so, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Just Coke Zero. I've seen all these Christmas adverts for me. I haven't seen the Coca Cola one yet. Oh, I didn't look then. How did you not? We don't watch normal telly in our eyes. We, we don't, apart from. It's only because of that celebrity getting me out of here. Mm. Kids watch, so. Yeah, I watch a bit of that. I don't mind a bit of that. Right now, he's at the top, right? <laughs> you winning, nice? Yeah. Oh. I just moved him so he can lean against the tree a bit. Oh. That's got to be better, hasn't it? It's a lot better, mate. Cool. Yeah. Real comfy. Right, we finally settled. Paul's settled. That's it. You're looking at your own pain there though, mate. No, I'm all right, mate. You're all right. I'll have another painkiller. We've got the burgers on. We'll get some onions cooking with them. And we've got some chorizo and cheese to go on the burger as well. Superb. So we are settled in camp. I'm the star of the show. Where is he? He's over there. So we've just got the burgers on now. We're starving. What time you got, Paul? Any idea? You tell us the time now. Oh, it's bang on 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Yeah. Wow. That's gone quick. <laughs> 10 o'clock. Yeah. We're going to be out of here early doors. It'll still be dark because it doesn't get light till about half past seven, does it? Not, In the right. morning. And I reckon we'll be up at five o'clock. Especially <laughs> <laughs> if it goes any cooler. Absolutely. Yeah. Superb. Looking good. Enjoying this one. Nice place. I think tomorrow, when it does get a little, well, if we're still here when it gets light, we'll realise how vulnerable we were because we're right by the road bridge which goes across and we've realised there's a path that if you walked along the road bridge on the path side, you could just sit there and watch us. <laughs> so it's not very stealthy, but we're getting away with it so far. No, I didn't hear the church bell. Yeah. What was that? Oh, something big just fell. Right, let's get to cooking. Oh, nature calls. This will be it. funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, isn't it? No, that's going down, that is. Ah, uh, you just have to pump it up every now and again. What are you doing? You've got a tree by the side here, use that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy, mate. Yeah. Yeah, it's a gentleman's room. Gentleman's room, just down on your left. How is it? Don't go left, you'll fall down the hill. I go with you. Yeah. Are we videoing or not? No. <laughs> <laughs> So everything's cooking, chorizo's on the top now. I've tried to save that before it gets too burnt. I'm gonna melt this cheese now into the onions and that'll be the first burger ready. All right, I reckon you can get one of these back tight, mate. Yeah. And I'll be serving you up. All right then, cheers. 
What do you think of that, mate? Yeah, great. We've got a flake with that. <laughs> I want to see a taste test before yeah. I do mine. Lovely. Is it good? Nice. Super. I'm going to do mine. Yeah. So good. We're having another go. Paul's taking his painkillers with his beer. <laughs> <laughs> good lad. That's it, yeah. yeah. Legs looking the right colour so far. His wife's yeah, asked me to keep legs. checking on it for him. <laughs> Superb. What? A goosebump on your leg. <laughs> what, what did you just say? The temperature's dropping a bit. That's it, yeah. It is, mate. It's going to be six degrees tonight. Yeah. Between five and seven, it says, doesn't it? I know. All I can get is shorts over my <laughs> so. That's a bit of a fan, only fan shot, that is, Paul, you got there. Oh, really? Legs yeah. akimbo. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to get it to him? Oh, cheers, my mate. Hang on, you got your cheese, oh, yeah. yeah. And then you want your flake. Oh, that's it, mate. Well, this is a bit different to last time. Bit of a disaster here. What's going on here? <laughs> it's painful to watch. <laughs> Getting it all over me, mate. Brown sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the state of it. Oh, that's the, oh, he's got it everywhere. We can sense disaster here. It's starting to rain, and I'm halfway through my burger, and I'm not prepared to compromise food over warmth. I don't know whether you can see this, but I will try and show you. That there is the bridge. But now none of us turned around to have a look where we actually were from this side and we're right by the bridge. Not cool. I don't know whether you can see any better there. Oh, that's the bridge right there. It's not very easy to work out, but it's right there. So I decided to bring this cooker for this camp, uh, but unfortunately the gas is running really low and it because I left the cartridge in and it's been leaking in the car. So we thought we could smell something funny on the way here. So we've probably only got a tiny amount of gas left, so we might get a cup of tea in the morning, which is a bit annoying, really. But we can only do what we can do, can't we, mate? Well, that's it, mate. I've got carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> in the car. I've got a headache. <laughs> Feeling sleepy. Feeling drowsy. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to do with this. Nothing <laughs> at all. And the, and the painkillers. No, that's it, no. <laughs> so we've had to put the tarp up. It's not brilliant. You've definitely seen better. And some of the guy ropes are actually just under a quarter of a mile long. And there's my mate Paul. That should be okay. Just see if that bridge appears better there. And that is camp. Sorry, it's so dark, but that's just the way it is. I couldn't video it, <laughs> but that was pretty funny. Really struggled to get in there. And I reckon in 10 minutes time, you'll want a wee. <laughs> you might have... I feel very balanced because of the weight of my... Plaster, <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, now it's bloody going to rain. We're going to get soaked. My tarpaulin isn't brilliant. 
what it'll do for now. <laughs> so, we are in our hammocks. It's took a while to get Paul in, but you're all right now, aren't you, mate? Yeah, I'm all right, mate. Superb. Yeah. Uh, we've got to give a big shout out to some of Paul's mates. So, who have we got? Paul, Steve? No, Phil. <laughs> Sorry, I'll start Phil, again. Yeah. It's Phil, Steve, Ronnie and Chris. That's it. Big shout out to you guys. Thanks for watching and keeping an eye on Paul for me. You will be pleased that by the time you're watching this video, I have got him home safely, honest. And there's not people out looking for us. <laughs> and he is nice and warm. And he will come again. <laughs> so a big shout out to you guys. It's quarter past midnight. We're both up because I've let us down really with the top because half of Paul's sleeping bag has got soaked and we've never noticed. So we're worried that that will get through onto his plaster and then his missus is going to go mental yeah. with me. <laughs> <laughs> It's dry at the minute though. Yeah, it is dry on the inside at the minute and we haven't got it wet. Uh, yeah, there's my bag. Deep packing bag. Where would you find it? Where is it? Um, is it underneath the wall? Oh yeah. yeah. I think it's cheer, mate. I'll make like a waterproof. So we've come up with an idea to use silver foil to see if we can warm this foot up a bit because it's freezing in it, mate. <laughs> it is. <laughs> this stuff's like 35 mil of polystyrene. Mainly, is that what they say? Yeah, it's equivalent to about 35 mil okay. of polystyrene. Well, so it should be good. We'll have to give that a go then. That's it. So we are doing our best for you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Right guys, it's half past one and as you can see we have taken camp down because I'm worried about that foot getting too cold and it's cold and I'm worried about that boy. <laughs> Even though he said, oh no, let's see it through. His missus said to me, if it gets cold, bring him home. <laughs> and that's exactly what I'm going to do. We've had a lot of rain and it's kept on rain and it's still raining now. So we'll see you back on the way back to the car. So we are hobbling out of here. Very wet and very cold. I've got a lot of wet kit that I need to sort out when I get home. Put that in the garage, dry it out. As you can see from that sleeping bag, not good. And it looked, looking at the weather app, it looks as though it's going to pour down from 4 a.m. as well. So we're not going to make that. We're out of this camp. Half past two in the morning, it is now. By the time we stripped it down, I'll see you in the car to say goodbye. Right, here's the evidence. I got Paul home safely. And we're going to shoot off. I'm going to shoot off home now. So thanks for watching Steve the Transit Camper. It's goodbye from me and... Goodbye from me. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. See Take ya. care.